Most people agree that we should protect our natural environment. But we often disagree on how and why. Environmental ethics helps us sort out such conflicts. This is the Kiso for Moa, a protected mire just a few kilometers from my university. It's highly contested terrain. On the one side, conservationists want to keep on raising water levels so that the mire continues to grow upwards, depositing layer after layer of dead plant matter, thus fixing carbon from the atmosphere and helping fight global warming. The mire is also a habitat for threatened species like the sea eagle and this peat moss. On the other side, most local people want to keep water levels low because the surroundings have been growing wetter. The walls of people's homes have cracked and molded. Their pastures have lost fodder quality. The forest is dying. So what to do? Should we sacrifice people's homes for climate change mitigation and species conservation? Or are they wrong to oppose it? This is one local instance of a global phenomenon. We can't avoid changing the face of the earth. But how should we change it? And at what cost to whom? If you're a scientist, you may be tempted to respond that ecology requires us to do certain things. But science is supposed to describe how things are, not prescribe what we ought to do. Arguing that a certain policy is good or bad ultimately requires moral reasons. Talking of such reasons, some people would have us put price tags on nature and simply do whatever promises the highest financial net gain. Does that sound a little short-sighted? At the other extreme, some people suggest that we need a new ethics that subordinates humans to ecosystems. As Edward Abbey once wrote, I'd rather kill a man than a snake. Does that sound a little dangerous? The aim of this course is to make you fluent in the entire range of moral environmental arguments. What is natural? Is it okay to eat animals? Can we expect poor people to care about conservation? In each unit of this course, we'll focus on one such important question. You will use ideas from environmental ethics to analyze case studies and discuss them online with instructors and fellow students. For 15 years, our environmental ethics group has been teaching science students from around the world to consider environmental issues from the moral point of view. If you're a scientist or not, taking this course will change the way you argue about the environment. Environmental ethics is about the biggest question on Earth. What should we do with the only planet we have? Find out what you think.